Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony, and this little puppy here is Ollie. I'm taking him for a little stroll around my yard. Today, I have something exciting to share with you. I will talk and discuss with you about cane begonias. Before we get started, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more houseplant content. Ollie and I would appreciate that. By the way, Ollie is a Yorkshire Terrier. He is two years old now and quite a handsome fella. Here it is. This is my cane begonia. This plant is also known as angel wing begonia. They also are called lung plants in a certain part of the world. Look at those stunning wing-shaped leaves. I have two varieties in this pot. These plants originate from the tropical regions of South America and Southeast Asia but now they're available all over the world. They are commonly found in the big box stores such as Walmart and Lowe's. Let's briefly talk about the care for these beautiful plants. Begonias prefer bright and direct light, making them perfect for indoor spaces with filtered sunlight. These plants can't tolerate direct sunlight but for only a limited amount of time. I put this pot outside during the summer and it is on the east side of my house in a shaded area. However, this area does receive one to two hours of direct sunlight. As you guys can see here, none of the leaves are damaged by the sun. What I'm pointing to is the begonia maculata that we commonly see in the big box store. I have that in addition to this polka, pink polka dot begonias. Fortunately, I lost the tag, so I don't know the name of that plant. If you do, please comment down below. I love this begonia because as you guys can see in the back of the leaf, this beautiful maroon color that kind of sparkle and shine when the light hits it. It's just amazing. When it comes to watering, allow the top inch of the soil to dry out before watering again. Overwatering these plants can lead to root rot, which you definitely want to avoid. When I put this plant outside, I water this plant every day especially now in the middle of summer, all of these foliage require lots of water. Speaking of summer, cane begonias are native to humid climates, so they love high humidity. You can mist them in the home or use a humidifier to recreate their natural uh, habitat and keep them happy. Since I'm keeping mine outside, I don't really need to do that. Also, if you do keep these plants inside, avoid putting them near cold drafts, which can harm their sensitive leaves. Even though cane begonias are more hardy than rex begonia, they don't like being disturbed too often. I repot them every two years or so. If I do see that they're not doing well, or if there is roots coming out of the bottom of the pot, I will repot them. I always use a well-draining soil when repotting these plants. These begonias grow so fast. Regular pruning is essential to maintain their shape and encourage a bushier growth. You can trim the leggy stem to keep the plant compact and promote new growth. Mm -hmm. 
with the stems that you cut off, you can propagate them. Cane begonias are relatively easy to propagate. You can take cuttings from healthy stems, ensuring that the cutting has a node. Place the cuttings in water or well-draining soil, and after a couple of weeks, they will start to put out new growth and you will have new plants. Here is a big secret that I want to share with you guys. During winter, I put this plant in my garage and let it go dormant. And then in spring, I take it out and voila! Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it or find it entertaining. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more plant content. Again, this is Tony. Please take care of yourself and your plants. I'll see you in a future video. Bye.